Hey guys, welcome back to Economics in Comics. This is your top 10 new pre-order comics, final order cutoff to buy this weekend only, February 2nd through February 5th. Let's go, I got a lot of information. Okay guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-orders to buy this weekend. You can pre-order for me if you want at economicsandcomics.com. Um, through the weekend, you can if you do order a pre-order for me, you'll be entered in to get a possible prize. Um, everyone that orders for me gets into a prize giveaway. Besides that, there's a lot of stuff to talk about right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with covers. Okay, guys, let's look at some, some good covers real quick before we get to the top 10. We have Amazon Attack number 5, cover B by Irvin Rodriguez. Avengers number 11, the Mark Brooks headshot. Detective Comics 1082, cover B by Federici. As well as the 1 in 25. Doctor Strange number 13, the Stormbreaker variant. Duke number three, uh, Baroness is going to be in this issue. Let's see, Fire and Ice Tigra one shot, cover A. And cover B. Flash number six, uh, cover B by Diodato Jr. And cover F is the Suicide Squad uh, game art. Guma, beginning of her number four, FOC Foil Sozo. They're doing this a week early. Harley, number 37, cover B, the Forns variant, as well as the one in 50. Sick. Just Society of America, number nine, cover B. Lipstick Clica, number three, cover B. Miss Marvel, Mutant Menace, number one, the Derek Chu variant. This is a new book. Power Girl, number six, cover D, the sweater variant. And cover E is the Carla Cohen foil. Sick. Red Sonia, 2023, number eight, Perio. Sensational She-Hulk, number six, the Mark Brooks. There's a lot of Mark Brooks headshot covers. Star Wars Thrawn Alliance, number one, the Lee Garbett second printing. Uh, you know, those Alliance covers had some weird things on them from the printing. Suicide Squad Kill Arkham Asylum, number two, cover B. Um, these have the code for the game. Wolverine, number one, Fax Edition Foils coming out. And I threw in there X-Men 32, the Mark Brooks Headshot variant. Before we get to the top ten, I want to mention two books, honorable mentions. Giant Size Spider-Gwen, number one. Here's the Kai Zama variant. Um... I think there's a new story in here, and then I think there's a reprint. And Ultimate Spider-Man number one, Sarah Pacelli, third printing. Now, I don't have the image. If I get the image within editing time, I'll throw it up there. But it is a third printing, very hot book. All right, let's get to your top ten. Let's start with Aliens What If, number one. What if Carter Burke had lived? You know that guy that worked for the corporation that was trying to freeze him and stuff? So they're doing a what if. But there's a lot of cool covers, including the Scotty Young, the Peach from Amoco, the Perio, and the Granov. Fun book for those who like aliens. Number nine is Star Wars The High Republic, number four, phase three. Uh, Into the Nile occlusion zone the high republic return but not as it used to be could be something in this book that was the regular cover here is the one in 25 variant number eight thanos number four regular cover clark variant and the justin snap variant so it says Basically, what follows is the most consequential fight in the history of the Marvel Universe, so it could be good. Number seven is Captain America, number seven. I'm showing you the Mark Brooks headshot. It says here he meets a strange new ally named Lila, guardian of the mysterious front door cabinet. 
possible first appearance. And it's a brand new arc. It's supposed to ripple through the Marvel Universe. That's what they always say. Number six is Weapon X-Men number one. Here's the regular cover. And here's the John Boy Myers cover. So this is the, the, the book that comes out uh, with the multiverse of Logans teaming up together. So those would be some good covers. Number five is Venom 31. Here's the scan 1 in 25. Carnage is back. Um, will Dylan Brock be able to hold the serial killer at bay? We'll see. But I, it's, I think it's going to be good. Okay. Number four is Savage Sword of Conan number one. I'm just showing you cover A. These are magazine size. They're big. That's what she said. Um, I'm when I was younger, I collected all the Savage Sword of Conans. That's I really that's where I really fell in love with art. All the big name art people. So what I'm gonna do myself is I'm gonna collect this whole thing. So the whole run. So I'm which this is number one. So I'm gonna get him in a magazine box and I'm gonna collect it all for myself because it brings back memories. Number three is another magazine-sized book called The Batman First Night, number one. Here's cover C, the pulp novel variant. Uh, variant yeah. The year is 1939, First World War. The Batman, okay, so in the recent emergence of a mysterious vigilante known as the Batman. So I think that this is going to be pretty cool, too. Unfortunately, it's magazine size. Okay, number two is Ultimate X-Men number one. I'm just going to show you the regular cover. Um, so here's the thing. Ultimate X-Men's been pretty hot. Ultimate stuff has been pretty hot. But it says here, Peach Momoko creates a new generation of X-Men for all new universe. Now... I don't know about this book because Peach Momoko's doing it in regard to her writing and stuff. Will it be as good as the other reads that we've had so far? Well, the only run I've read is Ultimate Spider-Man, which I know is amazing. But she, you know, I just don't know. But there will be a new group of Ultimate X-Men likes we've never seen before. So a lot of appearances, okay? And number one, without a doubt, is Penguin number seven. Here's the Matina cover. This is, besides Ultimate Spider-Man, this is the best read, Penguin. From start to finish so far, it has been the best series I have read so far this year. Um, I have to put it at number one. So in the, in the last issue, it shows the origin of the Penguin and the Batman and how their relationship was and all this. In this one, a drastic change has happened in the relationship. And is Cobblepot ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Batman? As if you know, if you've been reading, you know Penguin's always a couple steps ahead. So this book has been amazing. It's going to be my number one every time I see it on FOC. Unless something comes that beats it. Uh, but nothing has come to beat it yet. That's what she said. Please subscribe, comment, like. And remember, there is a contest at my store. You can also join the Sicko Squad as a channel member, a Sicko level, a Sickness level, or an Buttered level, and you get code to my store, 10, 15, 20% off unlimited for that month that you're a member. You might want to look into it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you later.